Hello, my dear friends, how are you today? So, I decided lately to go and revisit my piano VSTs. Uh, and so, to check out with myself which one I want to keep and which one I want to dump. Anyway, I went back to the Presonus Grand Piano. I have the Sphere subscription. It's a subscription-based uh, service from Presonus, which giving you, in fact, all of their softwares, all of their softwares for, uh, for free. So if you want to start to pro at music production, you will need at the end a sort of a keyboard or MIDI keyboard, and you will need a sound card and probably a headphones or and studio speakers. And a, a DAW, which means a software that will manage your recording and everything and your VSTs and everything. And probably you would like to buy some uh, uh, VSTs, which is uh, uh, instruments and effects to add to your software so you can play many other sound that that you will need. So Presonus is giving you everything together. Presonus is giving you with one subscription, I think it's cost $15 a month or, or something like that. They are giving you full-fledged DAW, the Studio One, with all of their uh, VST plugins effects and everything. So you are getting for $15 a month a package worth of several thousand dollars in $15 a month. So to me it's amazing. Anyway, in this subscription included of course between many other virtual instruments their studio grand piano. So, this chapter today is about this piano. So, there are many ways to configure this piano, but let's go and listen. This is the condenser mic. There is a ribbon mic, condenser mic. There is a preset on the basic, if you can see here. By the way, this piano itself costs $100 or something like that, or $200. But let me see in the site, in the website, how much it cost by now. Okay, because I have the subscription they are recognizing so I remember it's $100 to $150, something like that, okay? But you can check and, at their website. So anyway, when you are buying a Studio One or you are getting Studio One with one of their hardware machines, you can buy any of their... Uh, controllers and you are getting studio one a uh, uh, um, artist edition it means it's the lightest edition and with this one you are getting pretty a uh, default uh, uh, artist instruments and you've got this piano also but a very uh, basic sampling of this piano I will let you hear it it's the same piano but instead of Seven fifty seven hundred and fifty megabytes of sampling here 
you've got only 115 megabytes of sampling. So let me... This is the, the simple piano. This piano, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. This piano you are getting only with the full version if you are buying Studio One and you are not buying their piano or you are not subscrip- have subscription to their uh, sphere, to the sphere subscription. So anyway, this is the... the the regular piano of them, okay? This is the regular piano, but we have the Studio Grand, the full, the, 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 the full sample of this piano. So let's go and listen. To, this is the condenser. Each sample, it's about 700, 700, 750 megabytes, okay? So this is pretty deep sampling of piano. And let's listen to it. This is the... the um, I'm changing the velocity. There are some features here. You can change the velocity curve. So I'm changing it to make the piano a little bit more mellower. And the... Uh, the release... The release... It's not natural of a piano. This is how many of the... Uh, um, many of the jazz musicians and the church uh, pianists like it, but... So you can hear the piano, beautiful piano. So anyway, there isn't any tone character. So this is the character of the piano. So the way to change the character of the piano is, is it's with the velocity curve because this is the... You can hear it, it's very, very bright. So here you can get to the... By the way, this sampler does not have string resonance. So this piano... This piano does not have string resonance. As you can hear, there isn't any string resonance. And there are four um, features here. There is transpose. Okay, four wheels. Sample shift. What is sh- sample shift? It's to stretch the line and then pitch it to the right pitch. So this is a... And this is change the character. of the piano, as you can hear. So if you do it like this, you can... So anyway, me personally, I like it. And pitch fine-tune. Yes, and sample start mode. We should cut the head of the sound, but it's producing a weird sound. And you've got here the modulation, delay, reverb, 
let's turn the reverb on. As you remember, we are on the condenser mic, and we can go to the ribbon and listen to the same piano with ribbon mics. And of course, each preset, I should fix all the things that I like. So this one and this one. the release and the velocity curve. So which one I like better, the ribbon or the condenser? Let's go back to the condenser. The one fun things, one of the fun things you can do, you can, and this is what you call a multi, you can bring them both together. And how is that? There is on Studio One multi instruments, which means you can, on the same channel, load different instrument together and studio one will merge them to one so there is a multi mic piano here and what i did with this multi it's the same piano just the condenser and the ribbons together so the amount of sample to load is twice so this is 1.5 gig just for one instant that you are seeing, but you can see the ribbon and the condenser are together, but I did a velocity, I did pan the condenser mic 70%, 75% to the left, 
And the ribbon mic, 75% to the right. So there is something interesting happening if you are with headphones. So the volume here is a little bit weak. So let's turn it from here, okay. So this is gorgeous piano, to my opinion. Yes, it does not, you cannot control if the lid is open or close or, uh, or how much noise the pedal will do and uh, how much uh, noise the key of sample will be. But maybe the key of sample, yes. And there is a realism, I'm sorry. The realism is the sound of the... of the mechanical noise. You see, if I will take down the realism, you cannot hear the pedal, and now you can hear it on the full. I think this is a Stanway B, but I don't... I'm not sure. So anyway, this is the piano, okay? And as you can hear, it's got a beautiful sound, even though, me personally, because it's a little bit bright and need to tweak all the time, Uh, uh, me personally, I like the I like some some of the others better, but this is as a you know a free piano with your subscription. <laughs> this is pretty amazing. There is a resonances here. Let's hear it. What it means resonances. I don't think this is practical, this sound, because you cannot control this resonance so. And this is the stopato.
So this is uh, strumming uh, with something on the strings. Okay. And there is three expert, uh, 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 expert team. Expe <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> From the word exp experience. Okay, this is expert. Mm, come on. Experimental. Okay, so let's listen. <laughs> Okay, now instruments ethics. This preset called beaten up old grand. The next one is bodyless. So this one was a uh, dancing chords. Okay, next one. I like the, the name Dusty Record Piano. Dusty Record Piano. sort of a low file piano but area piano next one hard and warm. Too hard to my taste. Jazz piano solo.
So this is, uh, you know, what I'm letting to be uh, the judge. Again, all of these presets are too bright for me. But... piano This name The name is Plain White Piano
So this is the first one that I liked. But of course I need to tweak each and every one of them to make it make them a little bit mellower. So this one called ribbon enhancement. Stormy Sorry, shiny pad So 
So the sound stays, you cannot cut it. Soft chorus piano. I guessed. Opa. Okay, of course I'm changing the sound when I'm changing the velocity curve so and I make it more soft so this is the way I like the pianos you know but if you like it like this so this is the original. So to my taste, it's too bright. It's too bright. So it's turning down the volume of the piano, so I need to bring it a little bit up. soft chorus piano. Okay, enough, it's enough. Enough, it's enough. Studio heart heater. So this is going to be a painful one.
So this is the brightest you can get, I guess, because... Wow, what is this resonance that is keeping going on? This is sort of a bug. Ah, okay, it's from the highs where there is no pedal. So from this F sharp, there is no pedal sustain at a regular piano, and this is a sample of a real piano, so... So as you can hear, this is not my kind of uh, uh, um, preset, let's say. Uh, tamed, warm or white piano. Velocity curve down, release.
אוקיי. Okay. I sucked into it. I'm sorry. Because you know, piano is a piano at the end. And if it's a good sample, and you can tweak it a little bit. Okay. I have to... I have to end this uh, live session. And I didn't even finish warm pet. This is going to be a, a gorgeous one because this is warm ribbon concert. Let's listen to this wonderful. And you know what? Let's see how much there are more. There are only two more. So let's push them. Let's listen to this one. Warm ribbon concert. Let's leave this scale, let's go to black scale.
Okay, I have five more minutes. So let's end with this. warm soundtrack piano and the last one will be the warmish classical So anyway, my, my thought about this piano. So this piano, to my opinion, and let's uh, uh, finish with the Wormish Classical. Wormish Classical, Wormish. Let's give this Wormish a push. Okay, so my opinion My opinion about this piano This is a better piano than most of the digital pianos So usually it will be an upgrade, but not most of them. Like, to my opinion, this is... No, in fact, no, I cannot say it. Yes. No, it's... I cannot say it's above the level, like... Kawaii is definitely better, okay? The pianos from Kawaii. Let's listen to the Kawaii. This is the Kawaii. I don't know why I'm hearing myself twice. Okay. So it's a different character. This is the piano here. Because the volume is a little bit more higher than the kawaii, so it sounds to some of you maybe a little bit better, but this is a, a volume thing. And there are, there are sometimes noises that are... Anyway, this is a beautiful piano, okay? So this is very usable to the people of us that got a keyboard without sounds like, you know, MIDI controllers. 
I like this piano very much, but to be, to be true, I, I never use it because I have a pianos from native instrument that I love more. When I'm using VSTs and I like... Uh, um, I have a, 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 a pretty a nice collection of uh, virtual pianos, so this is the end. Thank you for being with me. Um, thank you to the guys that... Uh, uh, to Vega, Arista, Olia... Vega Julia and Rista Ulia. Anyway, thank you for being with me and I will go over some of my VSTs. This is of course came with the studio one, so this one I won't remove from my PC. So he is staying and I like it. <laughs> you know, you saw, you saw me now playing with it for hours and forgetting myself. So this is a testimony that the piano is good.